Hey, everybody, this is Ed Lady Wise, and today we're going to be talking about Daredevil Season 1, Episode 4. This is a heavy, heavy Russian episode because this is really focusing on them. This is really focusing on what's about to happen to them because major shit's about to hit the fan. As we've seen already in this episode, it shows the backstory and honestly it shows the, the bond between the two brothers, which was very interesting. Only a little few things happened in this episode. It's very interesting, very kind of slow to a certain point. Up until the very end of the episode, that's when shit really goes fucking crazy. And mainly, of course, the Russians finally figure out where Claire is, and they go after her, and they capture her, and whatever else. Well, this is basically where Dare, uh, Daredevil comes in and kicks some ass and beats some face in, and all kinds of... These guys are really hurting bad. The Russians are just basically getting their ass handed to them over and over again. You'd figure the amount of battles, the amount of resources they have used to try to get and take down Daredevil, you would think they would seriously buckle down and just fucking do it. Because it seems like they're just kind of fucking around. And they're going to piss off Fisk, which we're going to talk about in a second, where he, this guy's a, a psycho. I mean, he would basically do about whatever he wants. He honestly reminds me of Negan from freaking Walking Dead. Now, of course, we've seen Paige. She's out there. She's been offered that money, okay? She doesn't want to take it because she thinks she'll be considered a sellout which i don't think so i don't think she'll be considered a sellout because at that point if she does it she's dead anyways but you would honestly figure they would uh, sooner or later get annoyed by her and get rid of her because of course what is she doing she is trying to freaking get a story going because she goes what goes into the auction to try to see basically where all that uh, equipment's going and whatever else and hell she almost gets caught right then if ben wasn't there to save her i think she would have probably been dead which so far i really like this character i really like how he's going and i hope they keep this character alive and actually give him a more and more play into this series i think it would be freaking cool okay now let's get down into the big biggest fucking point of this entire episode because this is where it gets freaking nasty the russians at this point are just uh, they were honestly at this point but they don't know what to do. So the younger brother, of course, says, hey, I'm going to go fix this. So he goes to Fisk. Okay, Fisk is on a date. He is really trying to go and get out of his comfort zone, which, which you honestly see. Fisk almost seems human at this point. So it's kind of, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. He just, uh, he's just a bad guy, but he's human. Well, okay, that's fine for a little while. He pisses him off. He loses the date. The date goes home, and it's done. So all of a sudden, here he comes. They get him in the vehicle, and what do they do? They beat that man to death. I'm talking literally to death. They cut his fucking head off with a door. And, and people are bitching and complaining about Negan and the baseball bat. And I'm being serious. You can see fucking brain matter, you know, flopping on the ground like fucking jello. And yet, people are bitching about the other thing. Hell no. Fisk, I don't care. Yeah, the baseball bat's pretty fucking nasty and gnarly. Cutting someone's head off with a fucking door is insane. I mean, that right there tells you how far this lunatic would go just because he messed up his freaking date. I mean, wow. Holy shit. This is... Oh, wow, okay. So, honestly, guys, I'm gonna jump down my final thoughts real quick. This episode was okay. It was nice. It was kind of a, a smaller story building up, kind of what we've seen in the Supergirl episode a little while ago. So, I mean, that wasn't too bad. I liked it. I'm gonna keep going with it because I really like this series so far. But, well, guys, if you like this, hit those like buttons, hit those subscribe buttons, leave those comments and theories, and I'd, well, I'd definitely read them, and I'll catch you guys next time.